All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to use the FlySky transmitter uh, and the simulator. So you're going to click on, there's a link here that says FPV Freerider. This is a free app. You can download it on your computer at home. You can also download it on your phone. They'll tell you it's really hard to uh, use this app or this the app or the software unless you have a controller to go with it. You can like plug in a PlayStation 4 controller and Xbox controller and use it as well. But uh, one thing is that you'll notice these sticks come back to the middle, but this one doesn't. On a PlayStation or Xbox controller, it this one wants to come back too. So it's a little weird because you're having to force it down to stay down. But uh, you can still get some practice in. All right, so you'll take this. This hooks up back here. It's a little USB connector. Uh, you can buy these on Amazon. Uh, plug it in. Okay. Oh, there it goes. We'll try this again. It said USB not recognized. So let's try that again. We're going to plug that in. There it goes. And then we're going to turn this on. Okay. And I've actually gone through here in the settings. And uh, under system and RX setup. And I actually turned off the, uh, the RX so it's not running out as much battery down. If I can remember which button to get out of it. Hold on one of the buttons. There it goes. Come on. No, I'm just going to turn it off and on again. Alright, we're going to calibrate controller on the screen once we get this pulled up. Okay, it says center all sticks. So I'm for all the sticks in the center, like it says, and I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, one thing it's sometimes good to do is just move these sticks around and make sure you see four of these moving around. That means it's registering all four of these uh, inputs, channels. Okay, so I ready to put them all in the middle. And I click okay. Okay, now it says left stick to the left. Okay, this would be your yaw. So I hit to the left and hit OK. Now you'll look like it said yaw right there. That means this channel is where my yaw is coming in. Now it's going to say hold your left stick up. Okay, it's going to hold this stick up like it says with the arrows right here. Hit OK and you'll see it says THR which is for throttle. This is the throttle of your quadcopter. And then I'm going to go over here and do the right stick to the left. And this is my roll. I'll click OK. It says roll down here. That's good. Go up all the way. And click OK, and it says pitch, P-I-T. Okay, and then I can check here. You know, like go maybe halfway, make sure it's halfway on your screen. Go to the top, left, make sure everything's looking right here. Okay, it looks right, so we're going to hit OK. Okay, we're going to go to the desert. Okay, it's easiest to start off right here with the self-leveling is on, low rates are on, and we'll go right here if you've never used a quadcopter before. Let's take the camera off. Okay, then just kind of practice hovering. First I'd practice maybe uh, practicing your controls. This is roll right, roll left. So I'm gonna, I'll actually, this is pitch forward, pitch back, okay. This is yaw, yaw is turning like a car. See I'm yawing right now, it's yawing left, okay. And then this is your throttle. This is how much, how fast the motors are spinning, okay. So practice maybe going back, forth, right, left, okay, turning, turning, maybe try practicing going forward and turning in a circle. Okay, get the feel for it. Uh, it's definitely difficult. Uh, you're gonna, a lot of you it's gonna look easy, but when you actually try, it's gonna get hard. But once you get good at that, I feel comfortable going turn on the camera. And now just try flying around and getting a feel for it. Okay, don't go fast. Slow controlled movements are everything. Okay, just nice, slow, controlled. Uh, you try not to fly. I see a lot of students trying to fly like way up here. You're not gonna learn how to fly up here because you can't you can barely tell what you're doing. Try to stay about the don't go much higher than this right here. Uh, I'd try to keep it under these posts if you can and just try try flying around okay at first you're gonna probably be struggling probably gonna be like going like this a lot 
because it's going to take you a long time to figure out how to use that throttle here, but notice I, I don't hold my throttle in the same spots. It's always changing depending on what I'm doing. So, uh, and for a lot of you guys, you'll you'll have to you'll struggle with that. Okay, but once you get good at flying that, then we're going to go to timed race. Okay. And you're going to do this race, okay? And you're going to do, you need to do three laps in under three minutes, which is a ton of time. I think I can do, if I really push myself, I can do the, the three laps in under a minute for sure. Especially if I'm in acro mode. This is self-leveling mode, which is a little slower, but it's a lot more stable. So, but you see, you'll go around. There, I did it under a minute. You have to do it in under three minutes, so. Okay, and if you really want to have fun, if you feel like you're getting pretty good, uh, take self-leveling mode off and try flying around. Now this, when you when you pitch your quadcopter forward, notice it doesn't go back. It stays at the same angle. If I go like this, it's gonna stay at that angle. I, ha I have to manually, like if my quadcopter's like this, it's not gonna fix itself, I have to fix it. Okay, but you can go, notice like right now, I can actually go a lot faster. Now my camera angles kind of isn't as high up as I like it when I'm flying this way. You also notice when you're turning, you're gonna when you try to yaw, you're gonna have to roll too. And I'll explain why that is later. Okay? So practice the low rates, and if you really want to have fun, oh, let's go to put high rates on. When you're in high rates, you can do flips and stuff. You go up, turn over, that's called a split S. If you angle up and back, that's called a power loop. Oh, touch the ground. Uh, and some people will do that over this stuff, like go up. Oh, almost had it. <laughs> or the split S where I'm like, go through that, okay? So you can practice if you want, have some fun like this. This is a lot of fun. Uh, but it's definitely difficult. It's a lot harder than the stability mode. So uh, have fun, get a feel for it. But once you are able to do the race in under three minutes, that's when I'll let you start flying your actual quads. And real quick, let's just go over the controls real fast. Here's a little quad capture. Let's talk about it. All right, this right here is the pitch, okay? Pitch is how far you're going this way, forward or back. It just leans it forward or back. Now, if you're hovering and you pitch forward, your forces aren't going to be going straight down anymore. They're going at an angle, so you're actually going to have to increase your throttle a little bit to stay level if you want to stay at the same height. Okay? Uh, if this one right here is roll left, roll right, so roll left, roll right. If I was in acro mode and I hold this, it'd flip me over and do a roll like that. If I was in acro mode and I hit forward like this, it'd flip me over like that. Okay? This one right here is yaw. It turns you like a car. Okay, so like, think of a car steering. Okay, it's really hard for some students to get the feel of using the holding the throttle and having to use the yaw on that same hand. So, it's a little difficult. Uh, when you start flying more advanced, you start pitching like this, you have to use your both your yaw and your roll, because the higher your pitches, your yaw be, kind of becomes your roll. So you'll, you'll find that the more you start practicing and playing around with it, okay? Good luck. I know it's going to be frustrating, but it's going to take you several days to get the feel for it. But you will get the hang of it, and you will be good at flying as long as you practice. All right?